Hey guys, Solano from Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2022 Toyota Corolla front bumper removal and installation. But before we get started, I know there's 25,000 of you guys that watch this weekly. Can you guys go ahead and turn on that push notification, hit that like button, also subscribe to our channel for more great content like this one. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body part source. And if you guys need this bumper color match, shipped to your door and ready to install with the help of this video the link is down below and up above so let's go ahead and get started all right so for this vehicle we're going to start off on the bottom right here and you're going to see some bolts let's, right on the bottom on the edge you're going to see oh there you go you guys can see that 10 millimeter bolt and it runs like right on the bottom of the uh, of the bumper so just follow the bumper down and you'll see like 10 millimeter bolts so each corner also has a 10 millimeter bolt. So let's go ahead and get those off. So you guys gonna need a 10 millimeter like that one right there with a socket wrench. So you got, if you guys have like a power tool, that's great. You guys can utilize it on here, but I know a lot of our viewers only have the regular basic tool set. So it's gonna go ahead and demonstrate with the regular basic tool set. So it's gonna be on this side right here. We're gonna start off. And this is also my first time doing this. So we're gonna learn together on this one. But for the most part, a lot of the videos on the bumper removal, a lot of it's gonna start off in the bottom and it's gonna follow along in regards to where the bolts are. So that's all I'm doing is following where all the 10 millimeter bolts are. All right, so let me count out how many of them that I took off. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, usually it's even numbers. So like there's 10 of them, and they look like this one right here. So now I'm gonna go to the side of the bumper. So on the side of the bumper right here, it's damaged, but there's gonna be some clips right here on the side. Actually, let me do the other side. It's gonna be a lot better. All right, so along the side of the bumper right here, there's gonna be clips. So we're gonna turn the wheel so we can get more space out there. All right, so let's get down here. Uh, it's actually pretty hard to see. Let me see if I can focus on it. On the damaged side right here, it's actually better for me to demonstrate. So there's these clips right here, and you get a flathead, and you basically just wedge it right here, and kind of twist, and you kind of hear a pop. Like that, and go on top, like that. And then once it clips, off that's what it looks like so basically what it is it's like a clip like this that you need to take off and there's two of them one on the bottom and one on top right here and then after that you see this little it's like a plastic push pin and that one just go ahead and put a flathead there too and then it should just go ahead and pop out of place also. And then once you guys get that one, so it looks like this right here. So go ahead, I'm gonna demonstrate that on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that up here. You guys hear that click? I'm gonna go to the bottom. And then that thing comes right off. So this thing pops off. All right, so let's just get this, this one off and this one off. You guys have this one left. So remember, it's a flat head. And you kind of just wedge it in between. If I can see that slit. There we go. Just pull it out like that. And there it is, little tiny little thing. All right, so the next step is pop that hood. All right, so put that into place. So now you guys are gonna have these push pins here and just use your flathead screwdriver or flathead Phillips. You're gonna flathead right here and just go in between those and then pop them up. All 
right, let me show you guys how to pop this up. So you guys see it's gonna be flat like that. And just go right here in between and push up and it'll pop up like that and then just go ahead and take it off. And then you're gonna go ahead and take off the cover just like that. And right here, you're gonna reveal 10 millimeter bolts. So let's see where those are located. All right, so it looks like one right here, one in the middle, and then one right here. So there's three of them total. So one thing that you guys do have to take off also is going to be if you guys have this sensor on the back of your bumper. So if you guys go back here, you see the sensor right here? Go ahead and unplug that. Okay. So you just press down on here and it'll unplug it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take off the bumper. So we're going to go on the side of the bumper right here. And all we're going to do is pull like that so the other side is already damaged so I'm gonna go ahead and pull softly over here uh, and it looks like the bumper just fell down like that you guys saw the bumper fell down uh, pretty uh, not too soft but good enough for it it doesn't damage anything but if you had that uh, wire there that wire possibly could have been uh, damage. So now, there you go. Just go ahead and put all the accessories back on the new one. So on this bumper right here, it comes in two pieces, okay? Well, two pieces of the painted portion. So you have the lower one, which is the main bumper. That one's one piece. And then you guys have this top piece right here that also comes off. So if this is not damaged, we're going to go ahead and take that off as one piece right here. So right back here, it looks like we're going to take off this one right here. This one right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off all these screws. I'm gonna learn along the way. And so you guys see, I'm just pushing this tab back this way. This one looks like I push that tab back that way. And I believe from there. All right, so the screws up here. One, two, three, four. Two plastic ones like this one. Let me take that off. This one. This one. And last but not least, this one. Ooh, that one fell. Okay, so I think this one should come right off now. So go ahead and pull this back right here and you're gonna reveal the screw right there. And screw that one off. All right, so then do that on the other side too. And then this thing just kind of comes off. So now this piece. You know what, I made a mistake actually this bumper the top piece is actually on the main bumper so excuse me i was actually wrong this top piece is actually part of the bumper also so it's not separate i think it's separate on some other model but not this one this one's the le model so this part the top piece and the bottom piece are one piece together so over here i'm gonna go ahead and take this off all right so you guys have this it's like a plastic uh, tab right here. So all you do is get a flathead and on each side, you just press down on it. Or you can pinch it. Or you can go up here and use your flathead to take it off. Just like that. Just follow along. Sometimes they're difficult, but if you take one and you push with the 
one finger and you push and then pry with the flathead on the other side works too so again I'm doing this I'm pushing on the on one side and then I'm using my flathead to take it out Alright, so that one's off. Now we gotta take this off right here. And I think it's just a bunch of push. Let's push it down. Yeah. Push it down right there. It's just held down by clips. Alright, so I turn it over. And it's just, I think you just pry right here. You guys can take it off. Let me see. No. These clips are holding it down. Let me see if I can take off. No, this is, these clips are holding it. Let me just take a look at it. Oh, hold on, they're pretty tight. So what I did was I just left that uh, Toyota emblem in place right there. So I think you may have to take off the main grill first. So let's go ahead and get a screwdriver. So you guys are gonna have screws along the side right here. Right here. And then of course, on the other side too. There's this piece right here. Yeah, I'll just take it off. Right there. Another one right here. So I, all I did was push. Well. There's a tab right here, you kind of have to press back. There you go. So there's, a, there's these tabs right here, you see? Right there, you gotta have, put something back here and kind of push it back. So now for the most part, guys, to take this off is just a bunch of like clips. See like this clip, you have to press down on it and it starts releasing the grill from the actual bumper. You see? So you just have to kind of press down on it. So back here, push this tab down and then push down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them. So tab down. They're pretty easy to take off, see? Just a bunch of tabs. Alright, so there's that main grill off. Slide it out. Is this? Look got some foam piece. Oh, okay. So there's a foam piece here that you're gonna take off. If you don't get it dirty, it should stick right back on the other bumper. I'll put it somewhere clean so it doesn't get dirty. All right, so let's see if this grill comes off now. This grill is giving us some problems. So let's see if I can go ahead and take this off. Yep, there it is. There we go. So we have to take off the main grill before we can take this off. 
Of course, you guys gotta take this off right here and put those in the new bumper. It's gonna be a couple of them. Okay, I'm just gonna cut them out. They're like on the bottom where those screws were. Well, that one just popping out. And pick that up in a little bit. So right there. So this is the bottom of the bumper, as you guys can see. Really easy to take off. All right, so now you guys have these fog light covers right here. Right there. Those are really easy to take off too. It's just that white piece you gotta take off first. Go in the back, press down on it, and it slides off. You guys can see right there, just press that on here and slides off. And then go ahead and pinch it like that. And this little tiny thing comes off. So do that on the other side too. All right guys, so here's a brand new bumper right here, already pre-painted so you guys can go ahead and install it. And it's provided by none other than yours truly, Reb Moto. So you can see it's already color matched the vehicle. Whoop, whoop. And let's go ahead and put the accessories back on this new bumper, the same way you guys found it, or the same way you guys removed it. So just work opposite or backwards. Last one. Where'd it go? Oops, so we're going to take this off because these screws go in last. Let's put this cover on first. Just line it up with those uh, uh, tabs basically with the hole. Push that on it. And should hear a click. And so now we're going to screw it back in place. So I already put a screw right here. The second screw is right here. And then this thing goes right here. Just make sure. There you go. Before you press down on it. And then remember those little clips or I don't even know what these are called. So you put that in there. And then just push down on these tabs like that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put the bumper back on get some bolts like this the one that was in the middle and then a couple that was on the side of the bumper so since you guys are working by yourself it doesn't fall down on you 
So first we're going to secure the top part. So all we're doing right now is just securing the top part. Yep. All right, so let me show you guys a little bit of a hiccup that we had. So you guys have to make sure that this portion right here, see where that bumper is? It has to line up with this, um, bracket right here. If you don't, then it might be on the side and it's pushing that bracket to the other side and it's not going to fit correctly. Then also, once you guys have it in place, it's going to clip onto this um, headlight right here. So again, you guys see right here? Push it back a little bit and it'll clip it on there. So on the side of the bumper, you guys going to go ahead and clip it right there. And then up there. Okay. So we're not going to clip it all the way because we got to put this, uh, these things in place. So pretty much that's it right there. We just gotta go to the bottom and make sure that uh, that cover, the engine cover is not in our way. So you guys can see this engine cover right here. This thing needs to be on top. Let me see, actually, is it supposed to be on top? Yeah, so this thing right here, it's gotta push this back on top here. Like that, okay? And then the wipe, the white portion is going to clip onto there. So making sure your fender, your fender liner and your engine cover is in the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And while I'm down here, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, bolt it up. Once the bottom portions are done, then go to the side. So right here, let's kind of pull this back a little bit. Put this tab right here in place. So I believe it goes. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. So this little thing right here, you got to clip it on like this. that and then you should be able to secure it back here with this thing and you should hear click like that so that's how you know it's in place and so once this is back in place go ahead and put this in there's only one way to put it in so you can't mess it up if you do mess it up, it's not going to go in place correctly. And then go ahead and push this in. Just like that. And then remember this little push pin. This thing right here. 
He goes on top right here. Let's see if I can find it right there. And then push it back in place. Just like that. So then repeat that on the other side also. All right, once your bumper is all put back into place, the sides are put in, the bottom is screwed in, those three bolts. Go ahead and tighten up these bolts right here. And if you guys have that sensor, go ahead and plug in that sensor also. There you go. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on. Just like that. There you go. And this job is complete. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's how you put a 2022 Toyota Corolla front bumper removal insulation. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and we'll answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys for watching.